This is the most purchased watch on Amazon. Let's dive into why. So this is the most purchased watch on Amazon. Uh, in the past month, it's had over 5,000 sales. I've been looking for the past few months because I wanted to make a video like this. Kind of wondering why this is the most purchased watch. And then it somewhat dawned on me because I realized I owned one without even realizing that I owned one. I've had one of these in my watch case, my watch roll, forever because um, I used it to, when I travel, be kind of like the, the travel watch that I set my watches against. Uh, this is the Casio A158W. Uh, this watch has existed forever. Uh, it's your standard kind of uh, digital old school Casio watch. This watch has basically been around since the 80s. Um, there was an older version of it, the F91W, which wasn't in metal, so this version is the, the steel version. Um, the other one's a little, it's like a dollar or two cheaper, but this is like a $20 watch. Um, and it's been around since the 80s. So I was sitting there thinking, how is this watch still the most purchased watch on Amazon. It has sold over 5,000 pieces this month, and every other month I've looked for basically the past three or four months. All the other top watches were also Casios. Um, and then it kind of dawned on me, and it was um, because it's cheap and it does what it needs to do. Um, this is a low-cost watch. This is a watch that anyone can get. But my hang-ups with it and that not necessarily hang-ups, but what kind of confuses me is why the current watch market is so interested in it. Um, it's not a big watch. Uh, it's a 34 millimeter watch. It only weighs 20 grams. You could basically have a catch with this thing. The the lug to lug is 38. It's eight and a half millimeters thick, so super super thick. Barely has any water resistance. It's 30 meters. Um, I mean, I guess that's plenty, but I, you're not diving with this watch. Um, the lug width is only 18. You can't really even change the bracelet. I mean, I guess you, people have tried. Um, and you could pop this into a new kind of shell like you do with the Casiokes. Um, and worst of all, it's on one of those dumb Casio ba bracelets like the Timex Q and all those that grabs the crap out of your arm hair. Um... So I'm sitting there just kind of wondering, like, based on that, how is this the most purchased watch? And that's kind of what brought me to want to make this video, because it is thoroughly confusing to me how purchased this is, how revered it is, and I'm still confused why I even own one. And that's, you know, still kind of why I'm making this video, because I want you guys to chirp in also and tell me why do you own one? Diving into the functionality, you know, it's your your very basic. I'll zoom in here just so you guys can see a little better. Uh, but it's your your basic kind of watch. You know, it has your alarm mode, your stopwatch, and then you set the time. You know, very very simple. Uh, you got your day, your week. Yeah, I mean your day of the week. You got the date, a.m. and p.m. You could uh, switch between 24 hours and standard time. Also, a cool little trick is if you want to know if you have a fake or not, hold this button down for five seconds, and it'll say Casio. Really cool little thing. Um, I guess the simplicity of it is why it sells so well. Um, it's not a complicated watch. It doesn't do all these things that some other watches do. But the things that it does, it does well. That screen, uh, I'll put a still here image of it. It's crystal clear. It's got a great LED screen or LCD screen. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, the buttons are okay. The light doesn't really do much. Let me see if I can show you guys here and power this off for a second. You know, it lights up like an Indiglo, Timex wood, or something very similar, but you have to hold it down the whole time also. It doesn't light, you can't press it in and it stays lit. Um, but yeah, this, it's a very interesting watch to me. The Casio Electroluminescence, your very standard Casio digital watch. 
I'm I'm truly I, I'm at a loss for words. I understand the price point, but I, it's I'm gonna show it on the wrist shortly. But it's such a small watch that I I don't know how it resonates with the modern watch world, and it's making me feel a little bit kind of lost because if this is what people still are really after. A am I the weirdo looking at other watches thinking that this is the weird one? Here it is on the wrist. It's small, man. I mean, I, I guess putting it on, it it doesn't feel as small as I thought it was going to feel. But it definitely, it doesn't wear to me like what a modern day watch wears like. You know, it, it feels 80s and I guess there's a lot of people that are looking for that. And this is probably ties very much into their careers and stuff like that. Um... Still in 24-hour mode there. But I, I, I'm still very much kind of at a loss for how this is, you know, the most sold watch on Amazon. It, I don't want to think it's just strictly because it's cheap, you know, but this watch sells better than every other watch on Amazon, and that blows my mind. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Um... Give me your take on to why you think this does so well. I would love to hear it, and I'm going to keep really looking into it and see if, you know, all of you can tell me why you love it so much. But until next time, guys, great. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.